8.5 is all about the properties of logs. Um, this is actually, actually two days of lessons in one video. Uh, it's in three parts. Expanding, that's day one. And then we're going to do condensing and change a base. So let's start off with expanding. When we're expanding logs, log statements, there's three properties that associated with that. One, two, and three. The first property is called the quotient property. The quotient property. And then we got the product property. And the last one is power property. Oops. Power properties. There's three properties. Uh, let's talk about quotient first. Quotient says if you have log base B of U divided by V. Why U's and V's? Well, we already did A's and B's and stuff. So for properties, we're going to use U, uniform, and vector. Uh, log base B of U and V, this can actually be rewritten as log base B of U minus log base B of V. All right. Uh, product says if you have log base B of U times V, that can be rewritten as log base B of U. And what do you think? If division was subtraction, multiplication is addition. Log base B of V. And then the power property. Power property says log base B of U to the N power is, this is actually N, N becomes a coefficient, the exponent becomes a coefficient log, N log base B of U. All right, so these, these are three little tricks that we're going to apply to problems. And what we're going to ask you to do is expand. And let's talk about the first one. First one is going to be log base, log base 9 of 5 elevenths. Log base 9 of 5 elevenths is, well, this is the quotient property here. So this is going to be log base 9 of 5 minus the log base 9 of 11. There it is. That's it. That's all I'm looking for you to do. That's it. Uh, let's try another one. How about the log base 9 of 55? Well, Smith, there's nothing being divided or multiplied, and there's no exponent, so we're all done. Well, yeah, but there's another way that we can write 55. Another way to write 55 is 5 times 11. All right, so therefore, now we got 5 times 11. We're going to use the product property. This is log base b of 5 plus log base 9 of, or, excuse me, not log base b, log base 9 of 5 plus log base 9 of 11. There it is. All right, so um, I'm going to give you two more. Let's see if you can hook these up. Go ahead and press pause and knock them out. Log base 9 of 25 and log base 15 of a cubed b to the 6th c to the 84th. Go ahead and give these a shot. If you can do d, you're a ninja. All right. Hopefully for part C, you got, hopefully you got 2 times the log base 9 of 5. Now there's a couple of ways to do this. 25, of course, is 5 squared, in which case we use the product power, pro power property and do 2 log base 5. Or if you did 5 times 5, that would be log base 9 of 5 plus log base 9 of 5, and these are like terms. We got one of these things plus another one of these things, and that still gives us log base 2 of 5. Part D, should have got this. That was a lot of fun. I'll tell you what, for good measure, here's one more. E is log base 4 of 7x to the 3rd over y to the ninth z to the fifth. Now maybe you need a minute to look at this one, but then give this one a shot once you've got this. And if you can do E, 
then you're a samurai warrior. Go ahead and give it a shot. Did you come up with this one? Might have took a couple steps, but there it is. Okay, part two. Part two is going backwards. Now we're going to take these and we're going to con condense. Now, this is actually day two notes. So if you want to focus on the first part, go ahead and press pause. Come back to it tomorrow. Otherwise, another day of notes. Um, now, when you're condensing, what I would recommend do is take care of your powers first, then you're going to take care of your products, and then you're going to take care of your quotient. So, pow pro q, pow pro q. Let's do an example here. Two log base six of seven plus twelve log base six of m. Let's talk about this. All right. So first thing we're going to do is take care of our powers. And a power is anywhere where there's a coefficient. If there's a coefficient, that means we're going to change it to become a power. So this is now log base 6 of 7 squared. Plus, here's another coefficient. So this is log base 6 of m to the 12th power. So we took care of our powers. Now let's go to our products. Anywhere you see a plus. That's now we're going to take and we're going to multiply those together. So this should be log base 6 of 7 squared is 49, but it's 49 times m to the 12th power. This is the condensed version of, our, of this expansion. Let's try another one. How about 2 log base 3 of x minus... 3 log base 3 of y. All right, so again, start with your powers. This would be log base 3 of x squared minus log base 3 of y to the third. All right, so we took care of our coefficient, our powers. Are there any products? Well, products would mean there'd be a sum, there'd be an addition. There's no addition here, so we're all set there. So we go to quotient. Your quotient is anywhere where there's a minus. So here's where, where there's minus. This would be log base 3 of, and then let's put this together. Now, there's your final answer should have only one log. A log should be written only once. Then this is going to be, become a fraction. This is the log base 3 of x squared divided by y to the third. This is the only acceptable answer where there's log of, uh, of a single fraction. Let me show you what I mean by is not acceptable. Log base 3 of x squared divided by log base 3 of y to the third. I'm going to have at least five kids in each class write this one. I guarantee it. That is absolutely wrong. Do not do that. Don't be that kid. All right? Make sure you are this kid. All right, so here, I'm going to give you one more. Let's see if you can come up with it. I'm going to give you a stinker. Um, 2 log base 5 of 6 oops, minus 3 log base 5 of y plus 9 log base 5 of h. Give that one a shot. If you can condense this, then you're in good shape. Remember, powers, then products, then quotient. All right, hopefully you tried it. So you got log base 5 of 36, 6 squared, right? Minus, this is log base 5 of y to the third plus log base 5 of h to the ninth. Now, do products. So this is log base 5 of 36 minus, here's a product here. So this is log base 5 of y cubed h to the ninth. Then you do your quotients. Minus, so this is log base 5 of 36. Oops, give me. It's going to be this divided by this thing. So it's 36 over 
y to the third, h to the ninth. That's our final answer there. Awesome. Ten minute mark brings us to the last section. And the last section is called change of base. If you recall, your calculator only has a log button and a natural log button. It doesn't have a log base 5 button or a log base 3. Um, or it does not have a log base 6 button. If I actually find what is log base 6 of 8, your calculator can't do it. All right? But there is a formula that we can use to do it. If you have log base C of U, what you can do is put in log of U, log base B of U, divided by log base B of C. All right? Oh, yeah. Here's the thing. There is some fine print here. Uh, U, B, and C are positive. Um, B ain't 1, and C cannot be 1. Don't worry, guys. I ain't going to do it to you, so don't sweat it. Uh, so this thing, what this is saying is if you have log base of some crazy C, you, you can do log of anything you want, log base anything you want of U divided by log base of anything you want, as long as it's the same thing as this base, whatever you want, of C. So, seeing how our calculator happens to have log base 10 buttons, you, you can do log of U divided by the log of C. Um, or, if you wanted to get really fancy, what you could do is you could do the natural log of U divided by the natural log of C. Um, yeah, so let's go back to this log base 6 of 8. In your calculator, you can put in log of 8 divided by the log of 6. And you put that in your calculator. Make sure you pay attention to your parentheses. What you should get out of there, hopefully, you should get approximately 1.161. If you didn't, check your parentheses. Uh, ooh, just, just, just for fun. Try the natural log of 8 divided by the natural log of 6. You should get, mathematically, the exact same thing again. All right, change of base. So, guys, as you're kind of seeing from these three sections is these are just things that are just going to take practice. So we'll do a bunch of examples in class. We'll make sure that, uh, and you can ask questions and whatnot. But before I sign out, try out these three problems for you. Log base 11 of 251, uh, and log base 2 of 32. I'll do these with, with, with you if you want, or you can press pause. Okay, so log base 11 of 251. You Following our change of base formulas, we can just do log of the of 251 divided by the log of the base, see, log, log 11. So put in log 251, parentheses, close parentheses rather, divided by log of 11, and you should get approximately 2.304. Hey, if I wanted to check my answer, how could I to make sure that I did this right? Well, we're saying that log base 11 of 251 is 2.304. So we could say in exponent form, 11 raised to the 2.304 is 251. And you could check that, and I think it is about 251. Log base 2 of 32. We did this back in some earlier notes. We should know that this is, well, let's see. If we did the change of base formula, you should get log of 32 divided by the log of 2. Put in log of 32 divided by the log of 2, and you should get that's right, you should get five. All right, so bring, bring your questions. Bring your book tomorrow during class. Bring your book. It's going to be important. Smith out!